hopefully you've had an opportunity as you've talked and shared together to think about the ways that you like to relax and recognising in that that we are all wired differently. So where some of us would prefer time on our own, others prefer time out with friends. It may not quite be sitting in a jigsaw that's your thing if you're on your own, but it may be something like that that you prefer to do. Whereas for others, time out is actually time with friends and with family. We are all so different. And within the church, that's true as well. We are all so different. Whether we are quite as mixed as this group here, I'm not sure. And whether we're quite as fit as some of the folk who seem to be in this cartoon, I'm not sure. But we are all different. And yet we belong together because of our commitment to Christ. And that belonging together is something which is there from the very beginning. When Jesus drew together those 12 apostles, those 12 early disciples, they were all very different. There were folk from very different backgrounds, folk with very different temperaments. No doubt in that group, some folk who preferred time on their own and some folk who always wanted to be in company. They, like us, were all wired in different ways. That's one of the reasons why I don't like pictures like this that remind you that they were all exactly the same. Well, slightly different in that some have got beards and some have got not, but that seems about the only difference that's there. They were all very different. One of them, Simon the Zealot, was someone who would have gone and killed those who were alongside the Romans. Matthew was a tax collector colluding with the Romans. And yet Jesus drew them together. And there was something important in that. So Simon had said to Jesus, Jesus, I want to follow you, but I don't want to be in the same group as that guy, Matthew. I mean, he colludes with the Romans and I can't have anything to do with that. Then he couldn't have been part of what Jesus was doing. There was something about Jesus drawing together a group who were very different. And yet, who would be committed to following Jesus and committed to being together. And as Jesus prepared them for his leaving, we recognise that that actually remained. They were meant to stay together. They weren't to follow Jesus on their own. This was important. And so after Jesus' death and resurrection, they weren't scattered to the four winds. They stay together. They recognise that this is important for them. And in their final evening together, we see how important that was. As Jesus takes and washes the disciples' feet and then says to them, Do you understand what I have done for you? The greatest among you must be the least. You must learn to serve each other. You belong together. Serve each other. And then a few moments later, he talks to them about how their love for one another will actually show that they are his disciples. In other words, it's not just what they do individually, it's the way they share together that is incredibly important. Jesus has drawn them together as one. If you have love for one another, he says, then everyone will know that you are my disciples. It's about the way that you live together as well as the way you live individually, that will speak to people of your love for me. And so for us today, the call that Jesus places on our life, the invitation that he gives us, is not just to follow him on our own. He also invites us to join a group of disciples following him, and in following him to be modelling something different. It's not just in our individual lives, but in our life together that we should be living for Jesus and modelling what it means to live Jesus' way. There is something about us belonging together as disciples of Jesus that is important. And it's this that's reflected in the promise that we're looking at and spending a bit of time on in this session about committing ourselves to share together with our fellow Christians. Not just in worship in the Lord's Day, I believe, but in other ways 
that we are meant to share together, that we belong together, that we need to nurture and support each other. And we'll take a bit of time in the second part of the video to explore that. The church is made up of lots of different people and we belong together. I love in this picture here, of this photo, that it seems to be the grannies that are holding other folk up. The granny nearest me down the bottom almost seems to be bending at the knees with the strain of who's there and the granny further along who's holding up the young people. We belong together. And committing ourselves to be part of the church family is what we're asked to do when we join the church. We say, yes, I want to be part of this. I recognise that Jesus calls us to belong together and I want to share together with others. There are a number of questions on your sheet just now, so stop this part of the video and we'll get an opportunity to go on to something else in the second half.